All right, so here it is, off on another adventure with that lady. So, this is gonna be a big one. We're gonna have to leave the state. So, we'll see what kind of trouble we get into on the East Coast. Well, if you clicked on this video, then you obviously know that I went to check out Liberty State Park with my family. And it's a very interesting place, and I'd like to share some facts that I learned while visiting the park. In 1774, two years before we even became a, the United States, a man named Samuel Ellis buys the island and supposedly had a small tavern on it. In 1886, the statue was dedicated and brought to the United States, obviously. Which was the anniversary of our centennial. She was actually shipped over in 350 pieces and took four months to construct once it got to the United States. So, in 1890, the U.S. government takes control of immigration. But Ellis, Ellis Station is not open until 1892. In 1901 to 1910, so nine years, 8.8 .8 million immigrants come to the United States. Six million are processed to Ellis Island. During World War I and World War II, prisoners of war were kept at Ellis Island. During World War II, no matter the citizenship, if you were Japanese, Italian, or German, they kept you out here at Ellis Island as well. In 1954, Ellis Island Immigration Station closes. Not until 1965 did they turn it into Liberty State Park National Monument. It became a national monument back in 1924. After the island closed in 1950, for 20 years it was in political limbo until 1976 when they decided to make it into a museum, but that did not come to fruition until the 1980s. But I'm a kid. I just wander around and look at whatever. Check it out. So cool. Never thought I'd get. 
get here. This is awesome. So, we all know the Statue of Liberty is made of copper. And it took over 40 years for it to oxidize and turn the green color that we all know. Back in the 80s when they were remodeling and fixing the Statue of Liberty, they took the original torch off, put another one on, and that one is actually covered, the flame is covered in gold leaf. So that's one you see now. But the original one is still on site. It's in the uh, Statue of Liberty Museum, which was actually built in 2019. And if you ever get a chance to come and visit the Statue of Liberty and check out the museum, you actually be able to get to see the original torch. It's inside the museum, like I said, and there's pieces of molds of how they built the Statue of Liberty, how they pounded it all out of the copper into the molds, and that's how they made the statue. Really kind of cool. That's really cool. At the museum, they have a replica of her foot and her big toe. I'm a pretty tall guy. It's probably about four feet tall because it came up to my waist or a little bit above. But it was really cool to have a, a cast or a replica of her big toe or foot. It's kind of neat. Just my opinion. An amazing place to visit. If you're ever on the East Coast and you get a chance to go to New York City, this should definitely be one of your stops. It is definitely worth it. It is very cool to see. You gotta, but it, just so you know, at this point in time we went in 2022, they only had the pedestal open and you still had to have special, you had to like buy tickets ahead of time to get on the pedestal. I think that at some point they'll probably let people back up in the crown, but I don't know, but I know that the arm and the um, torch, I don't think will ever be opened again. But again, it is worth your time. It is worth the ferry ride. It is worth the trip. And again, it's just amazing to see this huge, huge piece of American history. You definitely need to get a chance to check it out. Do so. Don't pass it up. Also, something else I didn't learn until I got there was there is an awesome, beautiful 9-11 memorial there on the edge, the beginning where you catch the ferry to go over to Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty by the old train station is this beautiful memorial. You definitely need to check it out. It is very impressive. They actually have pieces of, cut off pieces of the beams that were in the building that fell. Um, it's very somber, but it's something that everybody should get a chance to check out and see all those names. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you back next time. And here's to more adventures and more travel.